Whew, okay. All right, got the candle. But we need more light than that. Oh, that's better. Okay, we got a little bit of light now. Okay, so in my last video, I was getting freaked out because people were commenting and saying, who is that next to you? And I was like, what? But it's my mirror. I have like a mirror right here. This is, you know, it's just me. But today, but today we're going to be looking at some of the creepiest kid drawings. I'm talking drawings that are just like, you know, so weird, creepy, and paranormal. Now, I will feel a little bit better if you guys, you know, make sure to follow my Instagram. I just posted on there. Make sure to, you know, comment on it, and I'm going to follow you guys right back. Now, I know you guys are wondering, like, Matt, why are you holding a candle? Why are you lighting a candle? It smells good, okay? It smells really good. Mmm. It's like a lavender. But let's go ahead and check out some of the creepiest children's drawings. Here we go. Let's do it. Okay, number one. It says, okay, it's like a drawing where it just says mommy, Julian, daddy, and the talking boy. What the? Oh, taking boy. It says the taking boy. I don't know if they meant talking or taken. Either one is not good. I mean, the boy is like all black. Well, I mean, come on, what's wrong with being all black? Am I right? Is the Taken boy, like, does he take boys? Like, is that is that why they call him the Taken boy? That drawing of the Taken boy, it looks like Casper if he was black. Casper the black ghost. Is like the afterlife racist, you know? Like, are all ghosts white or is it, you know, are there some black ghosts? I, mean, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Man, the Taken boy, get that out of Okay, next one, it says, why can't daddy see her? <gasps> My candle just went out. <gasps> what? what kind of drawing is that? It's all black and it's like coming out of the closet. Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with like coming out of the closet, but you know, if you look like that thing, I don't know if you want to be coming out the closet. Like either this kid has one crazy imagination or this family needs to move like ASAP Rocky, okay? Why can't daddy see her? Probably because his back is turned. Like your dad doesn't have eyes in the back of his head. You gotta give it up to this kid though. They are a pretty good artist. Like look at, look at, gee, look at the detail. You know, it's got the blue and then the brown and the black. And I mean, you gotta have the black. The thing coming out of the closet looks like a black grasshopper. Okay, next one. It says, name, Graham, date, February 9th, 2012. What will you be doing when you're a hundred years old? And then he wrote, breaking out of my tomb. Breaking out of your tomb, man. Well, apparently this kid thinks he's Jesus rising from the dead after three days. I mean, like, what if you're cremated? If you're cremated, like you can't, you can't break out. So he drew a picture of himself like halfway coming out the tomb. I just hope this kid is not black because you know, it'd be like black men breaking into cars and now they breaking out of tombs. I mean like, come on. Just kidding, black people don't always break into cars. Well, at least I don't anymore. No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Moving on. <gasps> what is that? Best friends? These are like different kids drawing like paranormal creatures and stuff and they all look kind of similar. I mean, come on, this thing looks like a cocoon with legs. I'm like waiting for a butterfly to pop out. Girl, you can't hold hands with a cocoon? Okay, either this girl drew a giant mosquito or she's really bad at drawing black people. It looks like an overgrown ant. It looks like an ant that ate a Mario mushroom. Girl, how are you gonna be best friends with the giant mosquito? We gotta work on your art skills because this ain't going cutty. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Get, cut it. Okay, this, what the? <gasps> what was that? Okay, no, 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 no. My computer's just glitching. I'm not even playing. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna need my glasses for this one. All right, it says, this is Lisa. She is my friend. My mom and dad can't see her, so they said she is an imaginary friend. And that's supposed to be Lisa? Okay, Lisa has blood coming out of her eyes and like blood on her shirt and blood on her hand. Why are all y'all kids drawing some creepy stuff? Why can't y'all kids be normal? Draw SpongeBob. You can even see like she drew Lisa, like she doesn't have legs, she just floats. And the little girl, look at the little girl's feet. Like one of her feet is like way bigger than the other. Come on, you gotta, you know, might wanna see a doctor about that. Hey, hashtag leave Lisa alone. Okay, it looks like this one's from the same girl. It says, today I tried to plant a flower in the yard. Tried to plant it by the sandbox, but Lisa said that's where her daddy is sleeping. I mean, raindrops, drop top. Lisa's dad's sleeping by the sandbox. That's where her daddy is sleeping, so I planted in a cup of dirt. Okay, in the green on the right side, there's like a, there's like a face with a smile, but it looks like, like what is that? Is that a turtle? Yesterday was my birthday. My mom bought pizza, but no one came. Lisa said people came on the porch and then left. 
but they left presents. I got three Barbies and some shoes and five dollars. I mean, dang, somebody must have been on a budget. Five dollars, man, you better get that out of here. Okay, next one. This one says, Lisa is at school with me today. I brought her for show and tell, but Mrs. Monroe got angry because she can't see Lisa. Lisa got sad, so she hid the chalkboard eraser. I mean, why does Mrs. Monroe have that George Washington hairstyle? Like, come on, lady, you need to, need to cut it. There's like certain consistencies and details about Lisa that's like, like, how do you even think of that? It's like each eye is red. The mouth is a little red. There's like a little red right here red at the bottom of the shirt red on both hands like that's those are details that's like a child does not normally think of that's not something that like the kids just like oh yeah hmm, let me put some red over here right okay let's go this one says mrs monroe is absent and <gasps> like right after she made lisa sad now mrs monroe is gone like no like oh my goodness hey what are you looking at our substitute <laughs> <laughs> they spelled substitute, I mean, quite, quite wrong. But I mean, it's funny, it's funny. Our substitute is named Mrs. Digman. She is pretty and nice and is letting us have snack time after diary time. I wish Mrs. Digman can stay our teacher. I get the feeling that when this girl kind of wants something to happen or wishes something will be a certain way, I feel like Lisa does something to like make that happen. And then on the board, it says snack time. It says snack time, another one. It says today. What was that? No, stop glitch. You better stop glitch. Today, Jonathan Parker stole my pencil sack. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny, but it's just like a funny term, like pencil sack. I got a sack too, like a sack of pencils, you know, that I keep. So Mrs. Digman couldn't find it, so she made him give me his pencils. Lisa came to school too, but Mrs. Digman can't see her. But she said she believes that Lisa is real. Oh, Mrs. Digman, smart. You better believe. Be like, yeah, yeah, Lisa, Lisa's real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just don't, just don't kill me. Okay, they need to turn this into like a horror movie. They've probably done like similar concepts, but like this one, a movie about Lisa, they need to make a movie about this. Okay, everybody comment below, like what is the scariest movie ever made? Like what's the movie that scared you the most? For me, it's The Grudge. I don't know if you guys remember the movie The Grudge, that movie freaked me out. Okay, this one says, yesterday me and Lisa went on a long walk until the moon came out. Daddy got really mad and said Lisa is stupid and fake. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, stupid and fake. Is this dad talking about Lisa or is he talking about my mixtape? Lisa got sad and disappeared. <gasps> you know what happens when Lisa like gets sad. Today she didn't come to school, but Mrs. Digman said Mrs. Monroe won't come back. <gasps> Why won't Mrs. Monroe come back? Like if people make Lisa sad, they disappear. That is, oh my gosh. I mean, look how mad the dad is. I mean, geez, he's so mad. He like lost all of his hair. Man, I am telling you, it is over for the dad. Like. Like for the dad, man, it's, it's curtains. Okay, let's go. It says, daddy was at work all day yesterday. He didn't even come home to eat dinner. Today, he is still at work. Mom packed me a pudding. <laughs> dad didn't even come home from work. Mom packed me a pudding. I want a pudding. How come nobody packs me a pudding? I love pudding. Mom packed me a pudding in my lunch today. So her dad was at work all day yesterday. He didn't come home to eat dinner. I know Lisa did it. Hey, but I ain't snitching though, okay? Because we all know snitches get killed by Lisa. Oh my gosh. I miss Lisa. Daddy is really busy at work. He didn't come home at the weekend. <gasps> the dad is still gone? Mom is angry at him. I'm going to write a letter for Lisa. You're gonna write a letter, but like, how are you gonna get it to Lisa? Like, where are you gonna send it? I'm sorry, but I don't think FedEx delivers to ghosts. I don't know, man. It's like the blood on the lips and like the blood on the hands. It's just a little, it's a little murdery, you know? And what is the red thing like in between the little girl and Lisa? Is that like a red, is that like a bloody butterfly? Like what, what is going on? This girl has a big smile too. She's smiling like the Grinch when he had the idea to steal Christmas. Are you planning to steal Christmas? Okay, and this one says, Dear Lisa, I miss you. Please come back. I'm sorry when my dad was mean. You are my best friend. Look, I had imaginary friends back in the day, but you know, I more so had like imaginary colleagues. You know, you know, we would discuss how we're gonna take over the world and everything. That's what we'd do, but. But my colleagues never went out and killed somebody because they made them sad. Man, this girl doesn't have a care in the world. She's sitting on the grass blowing bubbles okay in all seriousness i think we need to sign this girl up for like you know for the girl scouts okay then again maybe not because lisa would probably like 
kill all the other Girl Scouts, so, so yeah, never mind, never mind. It says Lisa came back yesterday. She said sorry for leaving, and I told her my dad won't come home. Lisa said Mrs. Monroe and him are sleeping like they did. <gasps> Lisa killed this girl's dad and Mrs. Monroe! Lisa said Mrs. Monroe and him are sleeping like her dad. I hope they wake up soon. <gasps> and then she drew them all. She drew her dad, Mrs. Monroe, and Lisa's dad. This little girl doesn't even understand what happened. She doesn't understand that Lisa killed her dad and her teacher. She thinks that they're taking a snooze. Okay, so the moral of the story is that if you know somebody who is saying that they have an imaginary friend, be nice to that person, okay? Woo! And that's it. That's it for the creepiest children's drawings. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Even though it was a little scary, I really hope you guys did not watch this at night because, you know, I'm filming at night and it's, it is creepy out here. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for showing up. Shout out to all the squads. Where you at though? Everybody, please stay safe out there. Sleep with the lights on tonight, okay? That's what I'm gonna do because, you know, I, I, ain't, I ain't taking no chances. And if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Just comment on my latest post and I'm gonna follow you guys right back. But yeah, again, really hope you guys enjoyed this video you already know to click on the screen and check out another one and if you're new click the circle in the middle to subscribe and we gonna click that bell to get notified and i'm gonna see you guys next time till then peace